Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today, we're looking at the new Sky DVG-1, David versus Goliath. That's where they came up with the name, the DVG-1. This is Sky's first striker fire handgun. You can see it has a flat face trigger there. No hammer. We've known the Sky to have the CPX-2 with the hammer action, long double action trigger pull. They lightened it up a bit and made a shorter trigger pull with the DVG-1. Same with the CPX-3. Hammer fired. I think this is a fine handgun. I really like that in 380. But they kept the 10-round magazines. And they do offer two 10-round magazines in the case. And if you go with this, they offer this cardboard case, a couple flat magazine base plates, a manual trigger lock, and the MSRP on this model anyways is $299. So it is a budget priced handgun. This is the non-optic ready one. They also offer an optic ready one just like this CPX2. They offer a Crimson Trace CTS 1500 red dot installed $399 if you go in that direction. And they're offering a rebate for the month of December. So I already took care of that on my end. But at the range, it fed, fired, and ejected everything just fine. I had a little issue with the sights. These are three-dot sights. They are Glock interchangeable. But the sights are pushed to the left a bit. And so I had to adjust my sight picture. It took me a little bit. Perhaps I should have checked it prior to hitting the range, but it was installed that way. So it has a screw there. I'll be able to push those sights over to the right just a hair because they are drift adjustable sights. It does have front serrations for the press checks and the trigger which already showed flat trigger there. Sky says it's a it's a five and a half pound trigger pull. I'm measuring closer to six and a half and I measured it several times. And there's your reset. You can hear it right there six and a half pounds is what I'm measuring and that's not too uncommon because not all trigger weights are exactly as the manufacturer says in, in on the website anyways but one of the issues that I also had is that see see that play right there all right with the magazine I get the, the sky CPX2 you know it will lock back no problem same with the CPX3 it locks back each and every time. This is inconsistent. And I noticed at the range it was inconsistent. Sometimes it locks back. Sometimes it does not. Right now it's it's cooperating. But not every time will it lock back. And when I recorded each time it locked back. And I was happy about that. But I noticed a couple times off camera. As I was firing I got that dreaded click. And the slide did not lock back. So... That's something that may need to be addressed. I'm not sure. I mean, it should lock back every time. Perhaps it's just this handgun. This has the stainless slide. They also make it in a blued slide. But it is lightweight. Let's get it on the scale. Then we'll take it apart and check it out. Here we have an unloaded DVG-1 weighing in at one pound one and a quarter ounces we move that to just ounces 17 and a quarter ounces here are 11 rounds we'll put that on the scale 21 and 7 8 so approximately 22 ounces loaded with 11 rounds to disassemble the handgun all you have to do is lock that slide back grab a round and that pin needs to come out I'm just going to do that you can just kind of pry it out there and then out comes the pin release the slide and then that's another thing is that I need to force that in pull the trigger and off comes the slide 3.1 inch barrel same with the CPX2 here we have a captured dual recoil spring and a 3.1 inch barrel all right it was it was okay at the range it, it did what it needed to do the reliability was there, I will grant that. When reassembling, you want to lock the slide back, push, pull that barrel as far, as far out as it will go, and then when you put this in, just put it in and then move the barrel in slowly, and then lock it in like that, and that will, 
that will assure you that it is all set and ready to go. But there it is, the Sky DVG-1. Not a bad little pistol. Does have some nice texturing on the grip. I already mentioned the, the finger grooves. I can live with it, but it just kind of doesn't actually fit my fingers as well as it should. Perhaps I can shave those down. I'd like for that slide to lock back, though. If I force it back, it it's just been inconsistent, and we'll have to see where where that where that goes in the future. I I don't think that will solve itself, although I can push those drift adjustable sights a little bit to the right to be on target a little better. But there it is, the Sky DVG-1, budget priced, lightweight, 10 round mags. It will share the same mags as the CPX-2, by the way, same mags. And I tried this in here as well, and it, it didn't lock back consistently. So that's what I'm looking at, and I hope you enjoyed this review because I, I really did i enjoyed it at the range if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe